So, how do you answer questions like this one? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi everyone! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, LA, ELET, and all of those things. If you're taking an exam like that and you want me to help you prepare, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to know as soon as a new video posts. I make one of these, at least one of these every week, so para wala kayong mamiss, make sure na um, notify kayo pag post ng bagong video. Alright? Today, we're going to talk about angles, specifically how to find missing angles when it comes to geometric shapes. Now, I've already made a series of videos on angles, and if you haven't seen those, it's going to be hard for you to figure out this lesson. So, if you niyo pa siya napapanood, ipos niyo muna tong video na to. Click the I here dito sa taas para makita niyo yung playlist of the other videos and mapanood niyo siya before going back to this video. Alright? Now, if you've already seen those videos, we can go ahead and proceed dun sa ating lesson for today. And if you stay until the end of the video, there's a quick quiz waiting for you. It's a free online quiz that you can take. If you stay until the end of the video, lalabas yung link to that video dito rin sa ID dito sa taas. So make sure that you stay, alright? Now, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can explain it better. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so today we're going to talk about finding missing angles. Dealing tayo with shapes and internal angles. And there are a few things that you have to understand. First thing is internal angles. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng internal angles? By the word internal, ibig sabihin ng in nasa loob. Ang ibig sabihin ng internal angles are the angles na nasa in or nasa loob ng isang shape. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Those are these angles. You have this one. This one and this one in the case of an equilateral triangle. Now, if you're not familiar with what an equilateral triangle is, I already made a video on triangles before. You can click right here to set as annotation to catch up. Alright? Ang ibig sabihin ng equilateral triangle is that all of yung sides niya are equal. So, kung ito ay, for example, 5 meters, 5 meters ito, 5 meters din ito. And the thing with equilateral triangles is, um, kung pare-pareho sila ng sides, pare-pareho rin sila ng angles. Kaya if you notice, and you may encounter this in one of your exams, no? may merong ganitong nakalagay. Ang ibig sabihin lang yan is, if ito ang marker ng angle, if it's one line, at lahat sila ay one line, ibig sabihin they are all equal. Si angle A, B, at C, lahat sila ay equal. A equals B equals C. Okay? Ngayon, ang next na natin pag-uusapan is ano kaya yung angle na yan? Now, here's the thing. Sa equilateral triangles, all of the angles, okay, amount to one thing. Okay? Lahat ng equilateral, uh, lahat ng angles ng equilateral triangle basically are 60 degrees each. Tig si 60 degrees sila. So, what does that mean? Ang sum ng internal angles, okay? Ang sum, or ito yung symbol natin for sum, sum ng internal angles ng equilateral triangle ay 60 plus 60 plus 60 or 180 degrees, okay? Now, this is just a proof of concept basically, ha? Sa equilateral triangle, ang internal angles niya 180 degrees lahat pag pinagsama-sama. Ngayon, with that in mind, talon tayo sa right triangle. Pag sinabing right triangle naman, ibig sabihin on one of the angles is a right, tri right angle or automatic 90 degrees. Now, here's the thing. If right triangle ang pinag-uusapan and one side is equal to the other side, ibig sabihin pareho sila ng haba, kunyari ito ay, kunyari lang, 7 meters, ito ay 7 meters din. Ang mangyayari doon ay, yung angles na ito, okay, magiging pareho rin sila, dahil pareho yung side, at pareho silang magiging 45 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, ano ibig sabihin noon? Ang sum din ng internal angles ng Right triangle ay 90 plus 45 plus 45 or 180 degrees. Did you notice that? Pareho sila, 180 at 180. Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin nun? What that means is any triangle, okay, regardless of kung anong klase siya, ang sum ng kanyang internal angles ay 180. 
Ngayon, if you have a hard time visualizing that, I want you to think of another right triangle. This time, if you notice, mas mahaba itong side na ito kesa dito. Pero kahit sa pagtingin pa lang dun sa angle na na-form, although this is not a perfect uh, drawing, if this one is 90 degrees, this one right here is a little more than 45 degrees, right? Okay, kasi ang 45 degrees, kalahati nito, mga nandyan yan eh. Okay, a little slimmer. And if you notice, itong angle na to is a lot smaller than 45 degrees. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Bumabalanse lang siya. Yung kukuha mo dito, kukurutin mo dito, idadagdag mo dito sa kabila. So, this is still going to be equal to 180 degrees. Ano ibig sabihin nun? If you know kung ano yung mga shapes na na-form sa isang question, you'd know kung saan mo huhugutin yung missing angle. Ngayon, before we go on to the sample problem, Let's uh, look at the information muna that we have to remember, okay? Uh, in here sa table, you're free to screenshot this at the end of my presentation. Pero huwag muna ngayon kasi kulang pa siya, no? Uh, we're going to talk about the shapes, their sides, and the sum of internal angles na meron sila. Like we talked about kanina, ang triangles, if this is 45, uh, if this is 60, this is 60, this is 60, okay? A triangle has three sides, and ang kanyang sum ng internal angles niya ay... 180 degrees. Now, this one, you just have to remember. There's actually a formula for internal angles. If you want me to make a video of that, please let me know in the comments, comment section below kung gusto nyo matutunan yun. Pag ay may question na what, uh, what is the sum of the internal angles of a uh, pentagon, o kaya hexagon, octagon, ganon. If you want me to discuss that, please let me know below para maipila ko siya, right? Ngayon, ang, another shape would be yung quadrilateral. Now, let's talk about quadrilaterals really fast muna. Ang quadrilaterals, yung ating root word na quad or four, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, okay, with lateral kasi ibig sabihin basically is a line, quadrilateral basically means a shape with four sides. So that goes for Squares, rectangles, rhombus, and trapezoid. Ay magkakaiba siya ng itsura. With the square being equal, rectangle being having two sides a little longer, pero still perpendicular sila, or tignan 90 degrees. Rhombus would be a little different then And your trapezoid is a little different sa skew niya ng mga shapes. Okay? What you have to remember lang is basically as long as apat ang sides, okay? Pag apat ang sides, automatic, ang sum ng internal angles nila is 3. 160. Ngayon, how do you better remember it? Sure, a square or a rectangle. If you notice, ito ay right angle, right? Kasi they are uh, perpendicular lines. This is also 90, 90, and 90. So, kung meron kang 90 na apat, okay, that is basically 90 times 4 or 360 degrees. So, any shape with four sides, ang sum na ang internal angles nila ay 360 degrees. Now, next shape, pentagon. Paano pag 5 ang sides niya? Okay? What you have to remember is that internal angles ang equal sa 540 degrees. Now, there is an increase sa sum of internal angles as dumadami yung sides ng isang shape. But if you're taking just a basic exam, civil service, or college entrance test, um, and uh, we're talking about finding missing angles, I think this are, these are the shapes that you have to focus on kasi ito lang usually yung napo-form. Okay? Medyo bihira na nga yung pentagon. Stick with your triangle and quadrilateral. This is what you need to remember. And uh, I'm going to show you a few samples. And again, uh, if you want to make use of yung ating free quiz at the end of the video, make sure that you stay and watch until the end to get the link to that. Alright? Now, let's try to apply what we learned here. Okay? Again, ito ay synthesis na ng lahat ng mga lessons natin on angles mula sa complementary, supplementary, um, and uh, yung ating mga equivalent na mga angles discussed natin last time. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, this is going to be hard for you. I'm going to explain this as slowly as I can, and as I'm going to try to fill in as many information as I can here in this picture. But uh, if the more you practice kasi dito sa concept na to, the faster you get. And it'll be easier for you to find the missing angle right away. Kahit na hindi nyo na isulat lahat ng equivalent ng lahat ng mga angles na meron tayo here. Alright? But for now, we're going to take things a little slow. Okay? I'm going to switch my pen color just para mas bright siya. 
Okay? Ang sabi sa question is, if angle Y is 110 degrees, ito yung angle Y, so ito yung 110 degrees, and angle Q is 40 degrees, okay? So ito yung angle Q, siya daw ay 40 degrees. Find angle L. Now, the problem with this type of problem is, if hindi ka familiar with the concept ng triangle na na-form here, it will be very hard for you to figure out kung ano itong angle na ito. Bakit? Kasi hindi sila directly equivalent. Okay? And uh, I'm going to explain that a bit. Ito muna tayo. Itong 110 na ito na Y, okay, from that information alone, kahit hindi mo alam yung 40 degrees, kaya mo nang malaman lahat ng mga angles na ito. Okay? Yan. I'm going to uh, explain that a little bit. Ngayon, nasabi natin pag across sila and if it's two lines na intersecting like that, etong line na ito makes this, itong angle Y and itong angle na ito, supplementary angle. So, kung 110 siya, this would be 180 minus 110 or 70 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, pag across naman sila or tawid, na kung notice ninyo, itong 110 ay nandito sa kabilang side, kapareho niya naman itong across sa kanya. So, ano ibig sabihin no? Kung 110 degrees yan, this would give you 110 degrees then. This would also be 70 degrees. And if even if you check it, di ba? Ito, 110 plus, one, plus 70 is 180. 110 plus 70 is 180. And if you go, tama tayo doon sa concept ng supplementary angles. So, alam na natin itong internal angle na isa nung triangle natin na ito. That is your first clue dito sa L. Okay? Ngayon, again, if you want to review on your perpendicular and parallel lines, kung ano tong 70 na yan, 70 rin ito. Kaya lang dalawa sila, no? Nahati sila. Kaya nga hindi natin malalaman yung L kung hindi natin alam yung triangle, no? But what you know is, kung ito ay 110, magkapareho kasi yung dalawang X na yan. Okay? Kukulayan ko para lang makita ninyo ng malinaw. etong X na yan, kamukayan nito. So, same sila. What that means would be, this will also be 110 degrees. This will also be 110 degrees. Alright? But again, hindi masyadong helpful sa atin yung information na yan kasi nga, hindi natin alam kung ano tong angle L. And yun yung hinahanap natin. So, saan mo makukuha yung clue? It will be on the other side. Itong Q. That will be your other clue. Ang sabi, yung angle Q daw is 40 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, ano ibig sabihin nun? If this right here, ay dalawang intersecting lines. Again, the same concept here. Kung ano yung katapat niya, tapat, kapareho niya. So, 40 degrees yon. This will also be 40 degrees. Okay? And if you want to fill in the information, kung 40 yan, this would be 140. Kasi 140, eh, 180 minus, one, minus 40 is 140. This will also be 140 degrees. Alright? But again, we don't, know, we don't need that information naman right now. What we need more is yung angle L. Now, how do we get that? Makukuha natin yan, again, I'm changing my color just for you to see it better, no? Makukuha natin yan by looking at these two angles right here. Kung itong angle na ito ay 110, ito ay 40, itong dalawang to ay internal angles ng triangle na ito. To get L, all we need to do is 180 minus the sum of 110 plus 40, which is going to give us 180 minus 150 or 30 degrees. Ngayon, saan natin nakuha again yung 30 degrees? Ang ginawa lang natin is, itong 40 na yan, which is the internal tri internal angle of this triangle and 110, i-add mo sila at kung ano yung sum na yung ibabawas mo sa 180. Ngayon, paano natin nalaman yun? Kasi, this triangle right here, okay, alam natin na lahat ng internal angles niya ay 180 degrees. Okay? So again, if you, if you notice, if this is a very simple problem if you know what you're looking for. Parang yung, alam nyo yung mga pag may nag-birthday nung bata tayo, may mga activity book na binibigay nung sa loot bag, if nag-birthday ko siya sa McDonald's or sa Jollibee. May mga activity books doon kung saan pinupuno mo lang yung information. Basically, ganun lang yung game na ito. But you have to know your concepts. Ano ang complementary angles, ano ang supplementary angles, ano yung mga equivalent na angles pagdating sa mga parallel and perpendicular lines, and of course, kung ano yung internal angle no shape. Alright, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Again, what you have to remember first ay yung table na ito. Ano yung ating mga equivalent sa mga shapes na ito. In our bonus uh, quick quiz that I'm going to link at the end of the video, you're going to encounter a 
quadrilateral that time. So remember yung mga sum of internal angles nitong mga shapes na ito. And I hope you do great sa quiz. Don't forget to put your grades dun sa quiz para malaman ko if you're doing great. Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung exam din sila. And as always, you can reach out to me directly by going to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to maybe request one of the videos that you want me to make or get one a uh, copy of uh, the reviews I make and then one of the live review events that I teach in. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. You can comment in down below. And by uh, following those comments or suggestions that you send in, I put up a list of the next videos that I want to teach you guys. And if you want to vote kung ano yung susunod na video na pag-uusapan natin, you can click on the ID to sa taas. There should be a poll there. Click on the topic that you want me to discuss and yun na pag-uusapan natin next week. Thank you guys for watching. Aja-aja, kaya niyan. Never stop learning. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.